for those of you in your 40s... <laughs> who, <laughs> who are you looking at? <laughs> ...who probably have children <laughs> raving about our special guests this morning, the 80s pop idols Bros, um, we're joined now by someone who'll whisk you back to the days when you were a teenager twisting the night away. It's likely that uh, your favourite hits of a misspent youth back in the 60s <laughs> included Little Town Flirt, Hats Off to Larry and Runaway. Well, the man who sang those songs is, of course, Del Shannon, but before we talk to him, our reporter Susie Grant has been looking at how the sounds and the stars of the 60s are once again packing them in on a countrywide tour. The scene is Birmingham's Hippodrome, the first leg in a month's nationwide solid 60s tour. The 2,000-strong audience will be taken back to the swinging 60s by stars like Jerry and the Pacemakers, all promising them a night of nostalgia. Topping the bill is Del Shannon, backed by the group Marmalade, proving they can make those golden oldies sound just as good 25 years on. Some of the solid 60s audience rocking and rolling in the aisles are in their 60s themselves. Some have brought their children and even their grandchildren. Do you like it? Yeah. What do you like about it? It's good. I love it. What do your grandchildren think, let alone your Exactly children? the same as us. They dance the same as with we do, don't they, yeah. mate? And i got a daughter, 14, and she knows everything about the sounds of the 60s. Bringing them up the right way. I always buy 60s music. I don't buy anything else. Why? Because I, I don't think the, um, the music's the same today as what it was then. No, quite right. Yeah, yeah. And if you think they've come to see a bunch of middle-aged has-beens, forget it. These boys might have been out of the charts, but they've never stopped packing them in. See, the nice thing is, in the audience, you've got the people from 14 to 94, you've got the kids who bought the records and their children who were brainwashed into the 60s music and who like it. And you've got the mums of the kids who bought it, so you've got a, a vast uh, age difference in the audience, and they all get a buzz out of it, and it, 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 it's tremendous. <laughs> The highlight of the show for the 40,000 fans who'll see it is, of course, Del Shannon. And with impromptu appearances by musicians like the Electric Light Orchestra's Jeff Lynne, the 60s fans who grew up with his hits look like following him for a long time to come. Well, the man uh, is with us this morning, Del Shannon. It's a pleasure to welcome you to Britain and uh, to the studios here as well, Del. A very good morning to you. Good, good morning. Just woke up. Just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rockers usually go to bed at 8 o'clock in the morning. They don't. Uh, yes, get of up. course. You're night people by nature, aren't yeah. you? So this is hurting just a little bit. Not, not much. Not too bad. <laughs> it will about two hours in there. <laughs> well, I hope that you're compass mentis because a little bit later on we're going to ask you, I, I think, to. Um, to strum a guitar a little bit first. Oh, I can strum easy, you know. Yeah. What was you going to have me play? Well, I don't know. It was it's up to you, you, really. Yeah, OK, yeah, it's fine then. All right, we'll give you some time to think about that very soon. But Birmingham looked sensational, didn't it? What a terrific night. Oh, and that's, that's just great. a small that's part of this countrywide tour, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's just the start, you know. I'll be here for 24 days, then I leave on the 24th and land in Chicago on the 24th and work the 25th in Chicago. Go home five days and back to Buffalo, Texas, and Connecticut. And Rock and roll never did die. <laughs> they said it was always going to die. Chuck Berry said that, right? Well, it hasn't, has it? And plainly, you're proving that once again. And as we saw, to a new generation as well, to the youngsters, it's music that has stood the test of time. Yeah, I guess it has, you know. Uh, I don't know what it is. You know, people say, oh, it's because of the new music. Because I know a lot of kids uh, still buy modern records, you know, as they always will. Mm. Uh, we have introduced you, I hope, um, backstage, as they say, to our guests this morning here, Bros, the 80s sensation. Bros. I like that name, Bros. A new generation on. <laughs> Did we grow up, lads, with Dell's music or not? Is no, it something... I've got a Stevie Wonder myself, really. You know, it's close. You're telling oh, me I, I know this song. You know, it must know yeah, Runaway. Yeah, everyone knows that way, don't it? Yeah. yeah. I knew as soon as I'd asked that I shouldn't have done you. I thought you were going to tell me you grew up with a Bay City so. Rollers or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Stevie Wonder's my man. He yeah. sounds better than you do anyway. Stevie. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Actually, Del, wherever you go, do people always ask you to do Runaway? Yeah. And do you still do it? I always, always do it, yeah. Oh, good. 
It's like going to see Frank Sinatra and he doesn't do his hits, you'd say, come on. Exactly, it's not fair, is it? No, people say, oh, don't you get tired of it, you know. I said, no, I just do Dell, you know. Dell does his hits and that's what I'm hired for. Dell does his now, hits. I know some artists that won't do that, they'll uh, come on and do their latest album or something, which is quite boring to me. You do them because you enjoy them. There's no need to turn out, is there? Financially, you've got a couple of bob in the bank. I got a couple of bob, yeah. Yeah. Be wise, boys. I can. We'll talk after the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're late to talk money during the news. Yeah. Right now, it's time for the weather. Over to this this morning. I just wonder, before we talk about your sort of music, whether you would ever consider going to a, an ordinary musical. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I love it. You haven't I... seen that one, though. No. no. Mm. You don't mind a good old-fashioned raucous no, I love musical. It. Like, you know, a bit tear jerky. I love that. Yeah, and they could write a tune too, couldn't they? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking particularly of the old Hollywood musicals, but I mean, Andrew Lloyd Webber seems to be doing no, the same it's, thing. It's right? Obviously, a multi talented guy, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I appreciate it for what it is. You know, you were saying that since the age of 12, you've been strumming guitars and wanting to be a pop group and be famous. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever do the ordinary conservative type things like being in the school play? I was, I was, I was in the school play. Yeah. I actually played the M MC in, in, a, in Cabaret. Really? Yeah, and, uh, mm. That's quite a part. <laughs> it was quite, it was quite, I really enjoyed that. And it was like, you know. What about you? I've, I've, been, in, I've been in school choir. Oh. I, was in, I was in school choir too. That's <laughs> nice. What Great. I was in the school play when I was about eight once. And that's oh, Can I you remember what you were? I was a wolf or something. I did, <laughs> a wolf? <laughs> I did, I did um, a highly got, formative so role. I actually got rid of the eyebrow. I, did some yeah. sa I, did, I was a sailor in, in Cabaret. Yeah, 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 but I wasn't quite a good actor, so I was, I was a sailor. I had one line and I forgot that. <laughs> one, word. Oh, well. one, one word. What one about word. Dell, actually? Prince. Before you started your, your <laughs> rock and roll career, did you ever aspire to sort of musical or any or any other sort of role? Yeah, I had a dummy. Uh, what, a ventriloquist yeah. dummy? Hi, hi, hi. That kind of thing, you know, you're not supposed to move your lips. Mm -hmm. and, and I used to play uh, with the kids in school, you know. I was about 10, 11, 12. Because there was a big uh, little dummy called Howdy Doody on TV. Mm. Guess you'd never heard of Howdy. No. Yeah. no. Craig was a dummy at school, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I, I, I started out vin as a ventriloquist, really. Mm. And it turned out that you made the right decision, did it? Yes, I was going to say. Yeah, and, I, and I did a little act with a, with a girl in school. I was... We don't remember want to hear about sitting it. sitting in a... Yeah, yeah. anyway... Yeah. 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 But anyway, Del went into rock and roll. Yeah, and now it's never seen, quick. hardly ever seen without a guitar. What are you going to play for yeah, us? I always have a guitar. I don't know, no one's asked me what to play. So. Runaway. So, yeah, I'll play that. That's a decision. Oh. Yeah. Well, you want me to sing it, dear? Oh, please. Yeah, I thought you'd sing it. Well, we'll, 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 we'll harmonise. We've got brosses. I'm sounding British already. It takes three days. And sounding British a bit? You know, give you the brush. <laughs> Jeff Lynn, I'll give him the brush. It sounded slightly Birmingham, but... Yeah, yeah a bit. It's too early to sing it, Jeff. As I walk along, I wonder what went wrong with our love, love that was so strong. And as I still walk on, I think of things we've done together while our hearts were young. Wake up, everybody. <laughs> I'm a walking in the rain. Are falling in a pit of pain. Come on, boys, join in. Hit the highs for me. Misery, I wonder. I wonder. You take it now. Go on, go on. Do it now. All you need is the, is the piano on top of it, and then you've yeah, really got the Yeah, it's a bit of a musotron, yeah. You guys use synthesizers, do you? Uh, it's yeah. cool socks, yeah. 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 I, still, I still have a guy on the old piano and stuff still, yeah. Well, it's a yeah, right. piano. I must say, it's wonderful to be able to recreate that sound so um, faithfully. And I, I just wonder, I mean, you've... Um, had three big hits, yeah. or, 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 or I mean, is it about fair to, to say have. about to have three big hits? It's yes, that's right. 
I mean, do you hope, you must hope, I suppose, that one day in 20 blah, years time, you could still be sitting here talking about still no, being popular nice and still being able to recreate yeah. that sound? I mean, we're doing, like, we're doing rehearsals now. We're doing a live, we're doing a British tour in June. Um, yeah. So after this, we go to the rehearsals, rehearsals for the here. tour. And it's, we, we felt, you know, because we know the sort of band we are, know the problems we have, like people taking us seriously. I mean, I mean so, when you're young, you yeah. get the, you get the, uh, the thing with, I mean, we are young, I don't want to run away from that, but it's like, you know, I can, like, we, we all sit down and play our instruments, I sometimes sit and write on, on a piano, but, you know, the market doesn't call for, sometimes, a 19-year-old guy is, like, sitting behind a piano, you know, to make the same, to get the same sound we've got on our records, we're having 10 people on stage, including us. Do you remember a group called...